Hello. As you may well know, in iOS 14, Apple took it upon itself to take care of our hearing and give us some very intrusive headphone audio exposure notifications when we've been listening to loud music for too long. But are these measurements that these notifications are based on accurate? That's the question I have. So what we're going to do is play some music from this phone into some Apple earpods. Uh, I'm using those because, well, they're wired and they're Apple. So if the measurements are accurate, then they should be accurate for these headphones, if nothing else. And then we're going to use this iPad here. I've downloaded this DB meter app so that we can measure the actual volume coming out of the headphones. The mic, if you're not sure, is right here. So I'll be placing the headphone speaker right over that hole there where the mic is situated and we'll be able to see the, the volume in decibels here. This is measuring decibels as our ear would register it. So it should be accurate for what we want. How are we going to know what Apple thinks the measurement is? Well, in control center, we can turn on the hearing widget here and that will tell us the volume that the phone thinks is coming out of the headphones. And that's what the health app uses for these measurements. So we'll be able to see side by side what the phone thinks it is and what it actually is. So we can do a side by side comparison. So we've got some Led Zeppelin here. We've got Immigrant Song, a great song to test this with. Okay, let's set this playing. Okay, so you can see the value there is coming out as 90 decibels. Okay, I'll just hold that up there, 90, 95, okay, hopefully that's situated well enough to be visible there. Then we're just going to place this over the mic, still registering 95, above 90 decibels over here. We've only just gone over 80 based on the actual output of the headphones. That's consistently over 10 decibels difference. Just so you know that I haven't altered the balance on these to give a false reading. Let's put the other one over there. Let's just move that wire out of the way. Over there. And you can see it's consistent. The phone is consistently taking measurements that are too high. So Apple's measurements are incorrect. Well, you might think <clears throat> maybe it's only incorrect at loud music, which is actually where it needs to be the most accurate, but you could say maybe it's only inaccurate for loud music. So let's stop that, switch over to some classical music. We have Vigioni, courtesy of Ludovico Rinaldi. And oh, we need to put the hearing module back there. And you can see a much calmer tone there. Yeah, over them. Mic there. We're well, still well below what the phone thinks it is. You could, of course, argue that uh, the app I'm using is not accurate. However, I think that's a very weak argument. Over here, we have some kind of computation black in a black box. We don't know what's going on here. Whereas over here, at least we know there are some measurements being taken from an actual vo source of volume. So I would say that this is the much more reliable measure of the volume coming out of the headphones rather than what the phone thinks it's putting into the headphones.